Okay, we're going to work on continuing to uh, break numbers, big numbers apart in order to multiply them easier. All right, so here we have a rectangle. So we have grid paper right there on the right. And it asks us to model 13 times 18. Okay, so we're going to break apart the model into smaller rectangles to show factors broken into tens and ones. Label and shade the smaller rectangles. Use the colors below. So we don't have those colors, so we're just going to improvise. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw 13. So I'm going to count down from the top. You guys should be doing the same thing. So uh, one line, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, so I'm going to draw my box. And then 13 times 18, so I'm going to go across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Right? So this is my big box that I'm working with right now. So count those out, 13 times 18. So 13 down, 18 across. This is my big box. See how they have a big box here? And then they broke it apart? That's what we're doing. So draw your big box. We're not doing crayons. I'm going to get through this. We have lunch soon. Oh, Thirteen down, eighteen across. Okay, once you um once you have that down, now you're gonna break it apart. So they already broke it apart for us here. See they have oops. I don't mean to take that and circle it. Okay, so they broke it apart already 10 times 10, 10 times 8, 3 times 10, and 3 times 8. So we'll have four boxes, basically. Okay, I'll do my best to shade them in. You just draw them in. You can shade them nicely. That's going to bother me. You can shade them nicely in if you want. All right. So let's shade that in. So I got a 10 by 10, so I want to count down 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm going to draw across. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Right? I want to break it up 10 by 10. Because I can easily multiply 10, right? Yes. And then I have 3. Because right here is going to be my total number, right? I have 10 plus 3 is 13, and 10 plus 8 is 18. Okay, so I'm just breaking apart my big numbers into something I can multiply quickly and easily. Okay, so this is going to be, I'm going to shade those in a little bit, my 10 by 10. Okay, then I'm going to go a 3 by 10. I already know 3 here. 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that is my second square. That's 3 times 10, right? So 3 times 10 is my green. My 10 times 10 is my red. My blue is going to be my uh, 8 times 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, oops, I'm going to turn counter someplace. 8, and then 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I miscounted somewhere. So uh, 10 times 8 is going to be my blue. And then I'll use black for my 3 times 8, right? Yes. Now, what I would do, if you guys remember, when we use distributive property, we just add those together, right? Yes. We multiply and add. So what is 10 times 10? What is 10 times 8? 80. What is 3 times 30, 10? 30. And what is 3 times 8? 24. 24. Okay. Then I add all those together, which is what it's telling me to do down here. Okay. I have zeros all the way down, and a 4 is what? 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 4. Four. Okay. 0 plus 8 plus 3 is what? What's 8 plus 3? 11. Plus 2. 13. And 1 plus 1 is? 2. Okay. So my answer should be 234. Thank you.
Wait, what is the plan for though? Put, Down here? I just put them up here. Oh, okay. So these would have filled in the boxes, right? 10 times 10 is 100. This would have been 80. This would have been 30. And this would have been 24. The answer would be 224. Wait, why is it 80, 30, 100? It was already written for us. 80, 30. I just lined them up up and down so I can add. It's okay. Everybody got that? Yes. Yes. Yes, I can erase it? Yes. yes. No. no. I don't have to. You're supposed to be uh, writing while I do it. Yeah. You're going too fast. That's how it's going to be. Yeah. Move out of, move, uh, move if you can't see. I Okay, so here's another, what it's asking us to do now, is to draw it a different way. So we've got the model, so we're going to draw the model again and break it apart, the whole model to show factors different from those. So we had 18 times 13, right? Okay, pick the size of 4. Alright, so we have 18 times 13, right? Yes. And the first one we broke it apart as uh, 10 plus 8 and 10 plus 13, I mean plus 3. What could be another way that we can break this apart? So we did it this way already, so we don't want to do it this way again. What is a different way we can break it up so that it's easy to multiply? Daniel? Uh, you can do, you can do, uh, you can, um, put 20. How do you have 20? You can't make 18 by using a 20. Uh, rounding. We're not rounding, we're using uh, partial products and area models. So, uh, I think you can use... What makes 18? What plus what can make 18? That's easy to multiply. Damien. No, we're not doing times. No. Plus. What plus what? Not times. Jenna. We already have 10 plus 8. We already did that one. Elise. 9 plus 9, right? Okay. And what about 13? David. I want to make this number. 9 plus 9 equals 18. So you can do 9 and then 9. nine. Yes, Malia. Uh, yeah, so we can use 6 plus 7. It doesn't matter. There's many ways of doing it. Okay? Um. Okay, are 6 and 7 is easy? How many people think 6 and 7 are easy to multiply? Me. Two people. Okay, so let's change it. What else can we make 13 with that's easy to multiply? John Luca? 13. Uh, Be ready when I call on you. Hey. 11 plus uh, 2. Hey, do you guys think 11s are easy? No. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you just doubled the number. Yeah. All right, so 11 plus 2. Okay, so let's do 18 first. So I'm going to count down 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, right? Yes? That's what that's telling me. 9, okay. So then I'm going to go across how many? 18. No? 9. 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There's my first thought. 9 and 9. It's 9 and 9. 9 and 9. Oh, wait. My friend is wrong. I caught it before. Okay, so if I'm going to do 18 on this side, it's 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 9, right? So down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. So those are the beginning of my two boxes. Now I'm going to go across the top. What is my first one? 11. 11. So across the top, I'm going to do 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. So this right here is my first box, and it's 9 times what? 
Okay. Here you have 9 plus 9, 11 plus 2. Okay, those are your boxes. You're going to have to go 9 times 11 and 9 times 2. Okay, so you're going to have to go 9 times 11 and 11 plus 2. So all I'm doing is going down 9 plus 9. Oops. Right. Is this equal 18? Yes. Yes or no? Okay, so I'm going to count down 9, and I'm going to count down 9, and that equals 18. Now I'm going to get 13 across. So I'm going to count over 11, right? And then I'm going to count over how many? What's here? 11 plus what? Plus 2 equals 13. Okay, so if you were to count these boxes right here, all the way across would be 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So add, add, add this to 13, right? Nine plus, wait, it would be 9 times 11 or 9 We're plus We're going there. Right now I'm just drawing my boxes. Wait. No, so it's just drawing lines. Nine. Like the arrows, 9 plus or 9 times? Okay, don't worry about this right now. Because you said you didn't understand, so I'm not going there. Now just draw your boxes. So 9 plus 9 is 18, and then I'm going to finish drawing these boxes. So these are 2s, right? So you have 4 boxes that make up the big box. Yes. So now do you, do you see that this big box right here, I'm going to draw it in blue. This big box right here is 18 times 13. Because I have 18 down the side, 13 across the top. Well, you have to not be confused, so let's look at it again. Okay, I have 18. I'm going to do 18 down the bottom, right? Okay, and I've already decided I'm going to use 9 plus 9. Yes? Okay, count down 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's the end of my 1 box. That's 9, right? Okay, yes? Then I have to do 9 plus what? Nine. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's the ending of my second box. That's 9, correct? 9 plus 9 equals 9. Stop. That's 9, correct? Uh -huh. What is 9 plus 9? 18. Okay, so if I count all of these dots, do you think I'll have 18? No. Yes. Or yes. Okay. Do you have that part? Do you understand that part? Yeah. Yes. Oh. Okay, now what am I going to do across the top? If you understand it, sit there quietly. If you don't understand it, ask questions. I'm not going to add nothing. What, am I, what number is it across the top? 13. Total of? Okay. And I have 13 broken down to what? 11. Daniel? 11 plus? Okay, so what's the first one I'm going to count across? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's the end of a box. And then how many after that? So this is eleven. Two. One, two. Right? Okay, now do you see this part at least? Okay, now I'm just going to connect the lines. So I'm going to start here where my nine ends, first nine ends, and I'm going to go all the way to where my eleven ends. Do you see that one box? That's what I don't get. I get. Okay, then you're going to have to rewatch this because I'm not going to go over it again. So, do you see where this line matches up for 9? And then 11, and I'm just going to draw a box. I'm going to connect those lines. Okay, there's a box. Okay, a box. Now I can draw another box, right? Where is this line going to go to? Where's the 2? So, all the way, keep going this far. No, I'm going to extend my 11 nines down, right? There's my second box. You're going to go two more spaces. Okay, so you're telling me I should go two more spaces like this and go all the way up? Just like that? Yes or no? 
What am I missing here? Let me finish this more in my head. I have one, two, three boxes. How many should I have? How many numbers do I have here? One, two, three, four. I should have four boxes, right? Oh, you add a plus three, just two more, and then you go away. So two more this way? Yeah. No. Um. No? Because this is 18 times 13. I can't go any bigger than yeah, my... So Show me. Come up and show me, please. No, no. Yes, at least. In the middle? In the middle, where this line is, right? How many boxes do I have now? Carolina? I have four boxes now. Do I need to draw any more boxes? No. No, no now I'm going to multiply. Now this times, what's in this box? Nine times what? Eleven. No, there's an eleven up here. Is there a nine up here? Okay, so I take this times this. Now what's in this box? There's nine here, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So what's in this box? Nine times eleven. Okay, how about this box? There's two here, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine times two. What about this box? Nine times two. Okay, now I find the answers. What's nine times eleven? What's nine times eleven? What's nine times two? What's nine times two? Now what do I do with all four of those green numbers? Add them together. So I have ninety-nine plus ninety-nine. I'm gonna stop there and add that because they're big numbers. What's nine plus nine? Eighteen. Carry the one. What's nine plus nine? Eighteen. Plus one. Nineteen. Okay, and then I'm gonna add eighteen again. What's eight plus eight? Forty-nine. Eight plus eight is what? Sixteen. Thank you. Carry the one. Nine plus one is? Ten. Plus one? Eleven. Okay, and the one plus one is? Two. All right, so I got this one, I got this one, I got this one. Now I need to add 18 more. Oh, wait. Isn't it, what's nine times nine? Is it one? I'm not doing times here. I already times. Now I'm adding. I times what's in my boxes. Now i got to add them together to find the total. You're basically going 9 times 11, 9 times 11, 9 times 2, whoops, 9 times 2, correct? That's what we did here, right? 9 times 11, 9 times 11, 9 times 2, 9 times 2. Yes, okay, so then you take those answers and add them together. Okay. Right. So now I'm on my final 18, right? I did this one, 99 plus 99 is 198, plus 18 is 216. Plus 18 is, what's 8 plus 6? 14. 14. Carry the 1, what's 1 plus 1? Three. Plus 1. Three. Thank you. And 2 plus 0? Two. 234. If you like your multiplication, let's check our answer. 8 times 3 is? 24. 3 times 1? 3. 3. Plus 2? 5. Placeholder, 1 plus 8? Nine. Oh, sorry, 1 times 8. I'm sorry, my eight. bad. 1 times 8 is 8. 1 times 1? One. 1. Now i got to add these together. 4, 4, oops, 3. 234. Okay? So what you need to do is you make that graph and then put 9 plus 9. That's You're breaking it down into factors. I'm sorry that is confusing. Do you think it would be less confusing if I used all the same color? Because then you don't know where one ends and one begins, right? Yes or no? No. What are the instructions on there? Okay, I understand. I want eyes on me. I understand that you want to do multiplication the way that you learned multiplication. That is not how we're doing things anymore. Not this grade, not fifth grade, not sixth grade, not seventh grade. Okay? So if you are asked to draw a model, whether you understand it or not, that is what you're going to do. Not multiplication the way that you are expected to do. If you don't know how to do this, rewatch the videos and practice.
You can use any multiplication problems, two digit by two digit, and practice. There's graph paper over there. Practice, practice, practice. If I have your homework and you do not have grid paper and you do not show a model, it is not correct. Your assignment is to show the model using this. Okay? I'm sorry if you don't like it, but that's the way it is. You have to understand how to do this stuff. All right, let's do... Um, I don't know if we'll have time for one more problem, but we'll try. All right, let's look at... Um, look at the making connections. Because some of these, you can't draw on graph paper, right? They're too big. So this one is 15 times 24. All right, how can I break apart 15 to two smaller numbers? Two smaller numbers. 10 plus 5, right? You guys are understanding how I'm doing this, right? Is anybody not understanding? Yes. Oh, no, no. Okay. How can I break 24 apart to two numbers that I can multiply easily? Lucas. A lot of people can't multiply 12s in here. Something that you can multiply easily. Abishay. Would make 14. Or make 24. Okay, so 20 and 4, right? Because we can multiply 20s and 10s really easily because we can just ignore the zeros, right? Yes? Malia? Yes? Now do you look like you don't understand? Okay, well don't look at me like that. All right, quickly, how, if I needed to model that, here's my big block, right? This is my 15 times 24. Yes? Everybody with me on the big block? Yes. That is my total. I'm going to take that big block and I'm going to break it into smaller blocks. So the way I can do that would be what? 10 plus 5. Okay, so let's imagine that this is 10 and this is 5. Does everybody agree 10 plus 5 equals 15? Yes. Okay, how about my 20? What am I breaking my 20 into? Daniel. Breaking uh, 20 into a... Uh, I mean 24, sorry. Oh, it, it, you're breaking it into 20 plus 4. Okay, since this is small, I made it small. I'm going to say that's 4 and this is 20, right? Now what boxes do I have? You see my four boxes. Heather, where are you at? Oh. That's fine. Do you see where I'm at? Okay, so this is this is ten and five. My two blocks here are ten and five, right? And then four and twenty. So if this was on a piece of grid paper, I don't want to count out 20 blocks, which you can, but since I don't have my grid paper on here that goes to 20, this is what I have to do. This is all I'm teaching today, guys. Then you have your homework. Okay. So in these boxes, what does this box represent? This first one right here. I understand. We're not leaving until this is done. Thank you. No, this is 15. This is 24. This box right here. There's a multiplication problem in that box. What is it, Heather? What, what's this number right here? Okay, so what is in this box? 10 times. What is in this box right here? At least. There's a number right here. There's a number right here. So what's my multiplication problem? My times four. Daniel, what is this box up here? Uh, Ten times twenty. Oops. I thought because there, um, it was both in the, in the same spot because it was both. You look at the number on top of the box and the number on the side of the box, yeah. and that's what you multiply. What goes in this box? Hey, five times twenty. You get all of those answers and you add them together, and that's how you get your multiplication problem. Hey, voice is off. Your boxes should be this: ten and twenty, ten and four, five and twenty, 
five, and four. Those are your four boxes. Yes. The grid is all, all you're doing is counting it out. With numbers this big, you're not going to count out 24 boxes. That'd be a waste of paper. Okay? You can imagine that there's 20 boxes here, right? Because it's bigger than the four boxes here. Okay. Make sure that it's kind of proportionate. Well, you do and add them all together. But how do you get the I will do one math, one homework problem when we get back. Okay, so for 22 times 26, I'm going to first figure out what addition problem I need to make to get to 22. That is easily multiplied. What would that be, Jenna? 20 plus 2, not times. Okay, what about 26? Easily multiplied, Malia. Yeah, what numbers that you can easily multiply? Alexis? 20 plus Good, 20 plus 6. Keep it simple. All right, now I draw my model, right? And you might not have room on your paper, so you might have to get another sheet of paper. And for for time's sake, and I don't want you up out of your seat, sit down and do it on your sheet. For the other pages, you will do it on a separate sheet of paper. Okay, so I'm going to draw a big box, right? Yes. That is my 22 times 26. That's my whole box. 22 times 26. Everybody understand that? Yeah. Now I'm going to break this big box into four smaller boxes. What's my first one going to be down the line? Heather, what's my first one going to be down the line? Okay, so I'm, I'm going to assume that that's probably where it's going to end right there, right? I'm just going to make a mark because I don't connect my, my boxes. What about the top? What's across the top, at least? 20 plus 6. 20 plus 6, right? I'm going to make another line right here because that's probably going to be around 6. Okay, now I can connect these lines, right? First of all, I'm going to draw this line all the way across the board. And then this line all the way across the board. Now how many boxes do I have? Four. Okay. First I made two lines with my addition problems, and then I just drew the line all the way through the big box. Okay. Now what goes in this first box right here? Daniel. What goes in this second box right here? Ivan. What goes in the third box down here? Hey. What goes in my last box down here? Don't look at what goes right here. Uh, oh, two times six. Okay, what's my next step, Abishai? Okay, so I'm going to solve these, right? 2 times 2 is 4. And how many zeros do I have? 2. Okay, what's 20 times 6? Jessica. What's 2 times 6? It's 12, right? And how many zeros? 1. 1. Well, you pick. What goes here in this box right here? What's two times twenty? Put your hand down if you already did it. I I don't think I've only had one student ever. Do you want me to pick for you? All right, he's he's under a lot of pressure. Um, hey, how are you? I have them all set up, and I don't even know passwords to most of them. Um, apparently you've been doing great today, so you may go with me to walk through. Two good. times twenty, I don't know. <laughs> no. I tried that. Really quick, two times twenty, somebody. Forty. Okay, two times two is four out of zero. And two times six is what? Good. Alright, I'm gonna pause this real quick.
All right, so now I have all my numbers. I have 400, I have 120, I have 40, and I have 12. So I'm going to add these numbers together, right? So 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 2 is? Uh, 0 plus 2 plus 4 is? What's 4 plus 2? 6. 6 plus 1? 7. And what's 4 plus 1? 5. So my answer is 572. That is how you do your homework. Okay, sometimes you just need a break, and then you come back and look at things differently, and it clicks. Alright, so that's how you do your homework. Videos will be on YouTube tonight if you need to watch it.